How to TV. Today on Ask Austin Harley, we're going to be doing something a little bit unique. We're going to be going through a credit repair series, which means I'm going to show you the fastest and easiest way you can skyrocket your credit for absolutely free. Stay tuned. Feel free to give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so I can make more helpful content to you. If you have any questions, as always, hashtag Ask Austin Harley and leave it in the comments section below and I'll make sure to get to your personalized question as soon as possible. This entire video series is going to be very unique. I couldn't find anyone else on YouTube doing something like this, so I sat down and said, how can I help my subscribers? How can I help my viewers? I thought of every single way possible and right now I'm on about 12 videos that I can make about how to boost up your credit for free or relatively low cost no matter what financial standpoint you're in, no matter what credit score you're in. That's right, that means if you're at a 400 credit score you can benefit from watching one of these videos or if you're at an 800 credit score you can still benefit from watching one of these videos. I'm going to lay out in detail every single piece of the puzzle that I think can help you boost up your credit score as fast as possible. And listen, if I miss something where you wanna see something that maybe your friend or your colleague told you something about to boost up your credit, leave it in the comment section below because I don't claim myself to know it all. I always ask for feedback from my users so that I can help make better content for all of you guys. And the last thing I'll say before I get started, and number one tip is that I want you to pay attention to the description in each video because the title is all gonna be labeled the same. It's gonna be labeled, what is it gonna be like? Fastest and easiest way to boost your credit, part one. There'll be a part until I can find no more parts left of ways to fix your credit. And then right after that, part one, part two, part three, whatever it might be, I'm gonna list the credit repair tips so you can easily search through and guys if you can't find the video you can always go and click on any video and I'm gonna list all the videos that I'm gonna be making in the description box so you can easily find the tip that best applies to you not every tip is going to be fit for you all individuals you're gonna to have to pick and choose what tip is gonna best fit your credit situation and if you need help doing that I'm gonna do my best to describe it in the video feel free to leave a comment and I'll do my best to get out to you personally so that we can make sure that you're watching the correct video to boost up your credit score alright so tip number one and probably the easiest and absolutely free way to boost up your credit score fast and I recommend everyone just to try this out because it's free, it's harmless, and even if you don't trust me yet, this is a great way to earn your trust by shooting up your credit. So try this, it takes 30 days, it's to pay your credit cards before the minimum due date. And I know you've heard me if you watch my other videos that I talk religiously about this, but it's true. All right, first things first, so we're gonna break down how this entire credit hack actually works. I got my calendar to show you in full detail. Then we're going to talk about the pros and cons of doing this hack and then we're going to wrap it up with talking about how it can fit your unique credit profile. Alright, so first things first, I need to make something clear. This is only for credit cards. This is not going to be for installment loans, mortgages, or car loans, or anything of that sort. So now that we have that clarified, let's say you have a Capital One credit card and your minimum due date is due on the 15th in the middle of every single month. Well, what happens is Capital One or whatever creditor you have is going to cut your statement right around that 15th date. And when they do that, they report out all your activity, your payment history, your balance, and all that good stuff out to the three credit bureaus. So what most people end up doing is they end up paying on the same day as the minimum payment due date. But little do they realize that whenever they do that, it takes the bank a few business days to process their payment through. By that time, the creditor, let's just say in our example, Capital One, has already reported out your balance and thus it shows that your balance hasn't had a reduction. It just reports out the same activity that you probably have had for the past 30 days sitting on your credit profile. All right, so I'm gonna do my best to explain this to you, but you can see the highlighted portion with my mouse right there is the 15th of the month, and we're just gonna use November 2018. So right around that minimum due date is when the statement's gonna get cut. So it could either get cut on the Friday after or the Monday following it, the 17th. Now, with that being said, if you pay your minimum due date on the minimum due date, then you're probably gonna get processed through on either next Wednesday or probably even the 22nd. Now, the reason for that is, is because whether you're paying cash, check, or whatever you're paying, cryptocurrency, it doesn't matter, the banks take forever to process your payment through before it reflects on your balance. The reason why? I have no idea. They probably need to pick up more on technology, but that's not the point. 
The point is you need your payment to reflect before that minimum due date is due so that when the statement cuts, it reports out to the credit bureaus that you have a positive, good, reducted, paid in full credit card. So let's talk about the reason why you want to do this. So creditors have immune a few main factors in how they judge your score. One being time, another one being usage. It's actually a huge factor and if you log on to any credit repair device, they're gonna first tell you don't go over 30% of your balance. You talk to any lender, they're gonna tell you the same crap. Well, it's true and that's because it's one of the major factors dragging people's credit score down. So how this hack actually works is Think about it on a consistent monthly basis. Let's say you have a limit of $1,000 on that Capital One credit card, and let's say you use 300 of it every single month and you pay it off in full. Well, if you pay it off in full on the minimum due date and then just rack up the $300 balance again, it's never reporting out to the credit bureaus that you had a zero paid in full balance. Yeah, it will show you that you paid on time, so your on time payment history is gonna be good, but it will never show the balance being fully reducted to a zero balance and then report it out to the credit bureaus. So the easiest way to take advantage of this is to pay a week in advance. Now when you do that, it gives the bank time to process your payment, reflect your balance as being zero or whatever payment you paid to be reducted, and then you let the statement cut so you don't use your credit card for about a week after your minimum payment due date is due and then you start using it again. So realistically what I'm trying to say is that you need to use your credit to build credit just like all my other videos I say this and not using your credit in order to pay for every single thing in the world and then pay it back because it's a very delicate algorithm that the credit bureaus have and it's unfortunate but we are slaves to that and we have to follow it to a T or else we're not credit perfect in this world. Now if you've watched any of those other crazy YouTube videos with the, with the really catchy thumbnail about how to skyrocket your credit in five days or less, it's actually true. This is one of those hacks that can do it. All they're basically saying is that the statement may cut in five days. Now it may take people as long as 30 days, it depends on when your statement cuts. You need to know when your statement cuts and the easiest way to do that is to go back and look at your statements. They should be reporting out on roughly the same day every single month. Now obviously February has shorter days, so sometimes it's going to fluctuate, but you'll get the algorithm, you'll get the hang of it, and catch on to the pattern so you can take advantage of this credit hack. Now how much does this credit hack actually work? It does work. I had a friend do it and it boosted up his credit score 30 points. I'm not just saying that to make myself look better, it actually does work. The only problem is it doesn't work consistently because think about it. If you do this for one month and your balance gets reflected out to zero, if you do it next month your balance is still reflected out of zero, the consistency is great. I mean the credit bureaus are going to love you for that. So it's not going to drag your score down, but it's just not going to drastically boost it up again. It's just going to be that one time, that one month. Now if you do this for all of your credit cards, it can probably shoot up your credit score very, very high, especially if you have revolving balances. Now I recommend you doing this as a sense of trust for me and my videos just because I already know that this is harmless, it works and there's nothing to lose by doing this. Simply pay a week in advance, don't use the card, let the statement cut and then start using the card and then tell me what happens and you can check your credit score on anywhere. I mean you can use credit, uh, Capital One's uh, credit wise, you can use that, you can use my FICO which is my personally personal favorite because it's a real score, however you do have to pay for that or you could use uh, Credit Karma, they're all free. I mean, any of those sites, and you can see the drastic increase in your score, and then you can come back and leave a comment in the description box below saying that Ask Austin Arley actually helped you. So as you can see, I put a lot of thought into this video on showing you the pros and cons and the reality of actually how to boost up your credit score, and I wanna give it to you straight. I wanna give it to you real, because there's so many videos out there, and I'm not bashing any of them. I'm just saying there's a lot of videos out there providing false hope, and I just wanna go through personally every single free way that you can boost up your credit score for free or relatively low cost and show you the pros and cons of how it can actually fit your unique credit situation because every single person's credit situation is unique. So if you like this video, if you thought that I was helpful, give this video a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. The feedback helps me. But if you do give it a thumbs down, you have to leave a comment because I need productive feedback in order to know how to improve my videos better. If you haven't already, go ahead and consider subscribing because it's free and because I put a lot of effort into making these videos to help boost up your credit fast and for free no matter what financial standpoint you're in. 
All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'll catch you in the next one. As always, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up and subscribe.